What is up everybody? I'm going to do a little video here about how we finish the uh, top row of our siding. So, if you look here, we have a very slight angle. And these are tricky spots. And we're also using Dutch lap. So, we cannot use um, a small J up top, like an undersill J. So, what we got to do is first get our measurements. Um, so, we're going to be at 3 and 3 quarter inches here. And the piece is nine and a quarter and nine and a quarter comes into here so we're going to start with a full piece and go from three and three quarter to a full piece at 106 inches and then we're going to show you how we how we install it here's our piece and this is kind of just a weird piece you're not going to see this on every house but um this is how we do all of our top pieces um i rarely use undersill in some scenarios i will but uh, the way that we do it is a little bit different, I think, than most people that I see do it. And when I get called out for siding repairs, if a piece is blown off, it's almost always this top piece. Because what people do is they use undersill and they use a little siding notching tool or the little, I don't even know what you call it, but it puts a little notch in here and it snaps in to that undersill. We do not do that ever. And um, our pieces do not fall off. So what we're going to do, flip it over, and we do have some, some nailing flange here, but what we have here, 100% silicone, and uh, this stuff works really good. So, what I do, you just take and put a nice big fat bead in there, you can see that, how I'm doing it. And we're gonna go all the way across and I promise you once this stuff dries this thing is not gonna come off there you can see that thing is full of silicone and uh, it will ooze out a little bit out of these holes um, but that's what you want and we can clean that up but uh, we're gonna pop this piece on and this thing is not gonna come off this is the best way and with dutch lap it's really tough with dutch lap to do something on an angle like this with the uh, undersill or any sort of j you pretty much have to do it this way but we do this with any double four just normal or dutch lap or whatever this is how we do it Well, there you have it. No, this is going to get covered up yet. So you won't see that once we get our next pieces on. But in this connect this is just a really goofy spot. And with Dutch lap, I think it makes it look even worse. But uh, that's how we do it. And they do not come off. I've had to go and do uh, repairs or um, take off like pieces of this years later. And essentially, when you try to take this top piece off here, this piece is almost always going to come with it because these are glued together so they do not come off uh, in the wind or even when you want to take them off they really don't so in my opinion that is the best way to do the last piece of siding whether it's straight or on an angle like this that is the best way it's fast it's easy and it's cheap well, that's it for this video. I hope you liked it. I hope you uh, learned something that you can maybe try, whether you're a professional or a do-it-yourselfer. Um, if you liked it, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.